I added every monster from Garden of Banban 2 to Minecraft. First, I made an Opilichik. I used a parrot to make the Opilichik, and I decided to make the shiny one or whatever you would call it. You probably wouldn't call it shiny, it's not a Pokemon. The Opilichiks are so tiny in game, and they actually kind of sound like the chicks from the actual game. I'm pretty sure dodo birds can't fly, so that's kind of a problem, but other than that, they look great. In the game, you have to abduct all the Opilichiks and move them to their beds, so I decided to try that in Minecraft as well. What? Who is this? Where did the Opilla chick go? That was interesting, but I mean it worked. I can also spawn a baby Opilla bird and it kind of looks like the default Opilla chick texture. Although this one isn't as cool, all I can really do is feed it a bunch of seeds. Oh, that's not an Opilla chick anymore. In Garden of Banban 2, there are 6 Opilichicks, and in the first game, you feed Opilibird 6 eggs, so there's definitely some interesting birth methods going on there, so let's test to see if this is true. Wait, it actually worked. I decided to give the Opilichick a 10 out of 10, overall it looks really good, and you are even able to keep one of these as a pet. Wait, my bad Opilibird, I didn't know. Next, I'm going to make Slow Selene. Since Slow is literally in her name, I made her from a turtle. I gave her a big green shell, added her long neck, and then I gave her some bright white after that, I added her two large eyes, and I drew a swirl on each side of her shell. I think she turned out pretty good. The eyes and the mouth are really creepy, just like in the actual game. Let's see a baby Slow Selene. I like how it's just a really small version of the regular one. In the actual game, Slow Selene chases you down a hallway, so I decided to add that as well. Okay, this is actually kind of scary. She's just slowly approaching. She is also not looking away, so I guess I have to keep standing still. Because I made Slow Selene from a turtle, I can also put her in the water and she will be fine. Okay, she's not really that slow anymore. Imagine going to the beach and there was just a massive snail swimming around in the water. Probably happens in Florida. I decided to give Slow Selene a 9 out of 10. She looks really good in game, but she's kind of boring in general. It's time for the next mob. In the game, there are 7 different Fiddles crew members, so I made all of those next. I used a strider to make them all, and first I made brown Fiddles. This is the actual color used in the game. I don't really know how this is brown. Next I made Cyan Fiddles, and there is a giant giant version of him in the game, but I don't know how to make that, so instead I just made a giant stack of cyan fiddles. I'm sure the ones on the top are fine. Next I made emerald fiddles, and this is him in game, and then I made orange fiddles. Orange fiddles only has one tooth, I wonder what happened to the other one. Pink fiddles has two teeth, and apparently he is dead in the game, so I'm just gonna have to. Next I made red fiddles, and he is my favorite because his eyes just stay like this forever. Like how is he able to see anything? Here's me riding a red fiddles as well, he honestly looks better than than the actual Strider. The last Fiddles is Yellow Fiddles, who apparently has a pirate-like appearance because of his missing eye. So because of this, I am kidnapping him in a boat. I'm going to give the Fiddles a 63 out of 10. There's 7 of them, so they get 7x the score. Next, I made Sheriff Toaster. I mean Toadster. I made him a frog because that's probably what he is. I changed the shape of his body, colored him the same color as the McDonald's villain, and made his weird-shaped head. Next, I added his teeth, and I gave him his badge on his chest. Finally, I colored in his belly, and gave him this little hat on top of his eye. I'm not gonna lie, he doesn't really look like he's smiling, instead he looks like the bully from Arthur. His arms are also completely broken, I'm pretty sure I attached them to his legs. Sheriff Toadster probably fights crime, so I'm going to steal no pillow chick in front of him and see what he does. He doesn't appear to be doing too much. He is jumping really high though, he definitely made it through police training. Maybe an army of Toadsters will stop me. I already knew they wouldn't, I don't know why I did this. Oh, I guess Sheriff Toadster is hungry. I'm going to give Sheriff Toadster a 7 out of 10, he looks kind of weird, honestly. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Nab Nab. I made Nab Nab from a spider because he kind of looks like a spider. I gave him some long legs and arms, changed the shape of his body, and then I colored him fully blue. After that, I gave him some teeth, then I added his tongue, and finally, I gave him three eyes. Okay, I don't think his legs are supposed to look like that. I fixed his legs, and then he looked a lot better in game. Well, I don't know about better, but putting him sideways actually makes him look scary. In the game, you get chased by Nab Nab, so I decided to try that in Minecraft. Yeah, this is definitely not something you want chasing you. It just looks so weird because in the actual game, he's on the roof and not on the ground. Nab Nab is also supposed to have a birthday hat and I didn't even notice, so we'll just pretend I added a hat. Also, if you can't tell, Nab Nab is Ban Ban spelt backwards, so because of that, you should eat Dirkbus. Since Nab Nab is the first hostile mob in this video, I decided to get Sheriff Toadster to lock him up for good. He sure won't be escaping this jail, especially not through the vents. I decided to give Nab Nab a 6 
6 out of 10. He looks kind of cursed. I'm sorry, Nab Nab. I meant 10, I swear. Next, I decided to make Zolfius. I don't know what Zolfius is, but he's big, so I made him from a ghast. Zolfius is just a circle with a face that looks like it was drawn by a one-year-old, so I decided to do that. The only difference is I'm not one years old, I think. I added Zolfius to the game, and it kind of reminds me of when I made Ambush. They look very similar. I would have to say that Zolfius is scarier, though. It's something about the amazing art skill required to make his face. I decided to visit the nether to find a wild Zolfius. He kind of looks like a ping pong paddle, so let's see who will win a game of ping pong, me or Zolfius. I don't think he wanted to play. I wonder what it will look like if I fill the whole sky with Zolfiuses. Yeah, this is a pretty good Minecraft experience. I literally cannot hear anything. I'm going to give Zolfius an 8 out of 10. He's a big flying drawing. How bad could he be? It's time for the next mob. Next, I'm making Mini Josh. It is unknown if Mini Josh will be hostile, but I'm assuming he is, so I made him from a silverfish because they are small and hostile. I deleted all of these things, added his legs, made his body bigger, and then I gave him some arms. After that, I added his head, colored him fully green, and then I added his eyes. Mini Josh looks like he's sad, so I gave him a sad mouth, and then I added him to the game. I was surprised with how he looks in game. All this waddling looks pretty weird. Also, none of his body parts move, which makes him look pretty bad. I decided to spawn Mini Josh with Jumbo Josh, and what happened next was shocking. I'm just kidding, you probably expected this. Next, I spawned an army of Mini Joshes, and then I made them fight Jumbo Josh. This is like a Mr. Beast video, 100 kids versus one adult. Mini Joshes could actually win this one, there's a lot of them. Never mind, Jumbo Josh seems to be invincible. I decided to give Mini Josh a 5 out of 10, he's kind of missing a lot of things, like moving arms and legs. It's time for the next mob. You're probably wondering where Jumbo Josh came from. I used the warden to make Jumbo Josh, and I gave him a big head, a creepy mouth, and then I added some green texture all around him. Jumbo Josh is massive in game, and he actually looks really good as the warden. Jumbo Josh also tells kids to eat fruits and vegetables to become strong like him, but honestly, I wouldn't let him near your kids. I went to the deep dark to see Jumbo Josh emerge from the ground, and then I fed him some fruit and vegetables like he says. Unfortunately, Jumbo Josh didn't want to eat the food, and instead, he wanted to eat me. I would say that I killed him to try and make myself look cool, but let's be honest, we all know what happened. I'm going to give Jumbo Josh a 10 out of 10, and that has nothing to do with him holding me hostage. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Ban Ban. I made Ban Ban from a wither skeleton. I colored him fully red, gave him some eyes and a mouth, and then I added his big tongue. I then gave him his birthday hats on his head, and finally I changed his arms a little bit. Apparently, changing his arms a little bit didn't matter though, because they fully disappeared in the game. Oh wait, they're inside of him. I decided to fix his arms, and this is how Ban Ban looks in game. I decided to visit the nether to try and find Ban Ban myself. Ignore the netherrack, I don't know how this got here. When you think of it, Ban Ban is a devil, so he's supposed to be in the nether. Wait, guys, I was just kidding, I didn't say that. To make things a little more cursed, I decided to replace all the heads on the wither with the Ban Ban heads. Now let's see who will win, the Ban Ban, Wither, or Jumbo Josh. Why is Jumbo Josh not fighting back? Okay, now he's going crazy. Alright, Jumbo Josh couldn't do anything, Ban Ban was flying. I decided to give Ban Ban a 6 out of 10, he doesn't look that great. <laughs> it's time for the next mob. Next, let's make Ban Bolina. I used a wither skeleton for Ban Ban, so I made Ban Bolina from a skeleton. I copy pasted all of Ban Ban's body parts onto her, and then I colored her fully white. Next, I gave her some eyes and drew her mouth, and then finally I added her pink bow on her horn thing. I forgot Ban Bolina also had a problem with her arms, so I had to fix it again. This is how Ban Bolina looks in game, she kinda looks like a weird bunny. I then spawned a Ban Bolina army and made them fight Jumbo Josh. Okay, they're all just fighting each other. Yeah, Jumbo Josh wins this easily. Ban Bolina is cool, but look at me spawn a bunch of crows. I then made Ban Ban fight Ban Bolina to see who would win. I'm sorry, Ban Bolina. I kind of already knew what would happen. I decided to give Ban Bolina a 5 out of 10. It's not because I don't like her. It's just because I don't <laughs> like her. Next, I made Stinger Flynn. The closest mob to Stinger Flynn is a squid, but I'm not dealing with those legs, so I made him from the Guardian instead. I deleted all this stuff, cut off half of his body, and then I added some wavy parts on the bottom. Next, I gave him an eye, and then I added four legs to the bottom like this. Finally, I added one bent arm on each side, and then I was done. When I spawned Stinger Flynn, he was bouncing around everywhere because he's a guardian, so I had to put him in the water where he belongs. He ended up looking pretty good in the game, other than the fact that his arms don't move. Apparently, Stinger Flynn is very aggressive and has venomous stingers, so I decided to test that for myself. I'm not really liking this. It turns out that this was true, so I kidnapped one Stinger Flynn and called it even. Ban Ban might be a natural enemy of Stinger Flynn, so I decided to see who would win in a fight. Ban Ban has the land advantage, but Stinger Flynn 
Dylan is kind of fast, so he could win this one. Okay, Ban Ban got stuck, so I guess it's a tie. Stinger Flynn says having many arms allows me to help a lot more people, so I decided to add six subscribe buttons on the screen, one oh for each of his God, arms. Bro. I gave Stinger Flynn an 8 out of 10, he would have been a 10, but his arms don't move. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Opilla Bird. I used a chicken to make Opilla Bird, and I gave her a long neck, some purple wings, and a yellow beak. I then added these creepy looking eyes to her and added her to the game. Opilla Bird actually looks pretty good as well, but the baby, not so much. At least I don't have to worry about her chasing me though, because she's a chicken. Well, she'll chase me, but she's not gonna do anything, I think. In the game, Opilla Bird is supposed to fall into the ball pit, so I decided to test if she would survive a massive fall in Minecraft. She made it to the ground without taking damage, so I guess she's still alive. This confirms it. There is a mini game where you have to feed Opilla Bird six eggs, so I added that to the game as well. Kind of. I tried to swap Jumbo Josh and Opilla Bird's textures around to make a joke, but this just happened. Opilla Bird says laughter is the best medicine, so I'm asking you to laugh at that joke. Do it for her, not for me. I decided to give Opilla Bird an 8 out of 10 because she can't harm me for my opinion. Okay, really? Next, I made Captain Fiddles. I made Captain Fiddles from a strider. First, I shrunk his legs and made his body smaller. Next, I colored him fully blue and I gave him a mouth and some eyes. Then, finally, I added some arms and some hands. Captain Fiddles actually looks pretty good in game, other than the fact that his legs aren't attached. Also, he's a really good method of transportation. Okay, well, he's not that good. He's kind of slow, honestly. You can even spawn a baby Captain Fiddles for whatever reason. His legs are even more broken, but it's fine. It is said that Captain Fiddles is known for his love of music, so I decided to play a song for him. This was really bad, it's supposed to be the Rickroll song, sorry. <laughs> to test if Captain Fiddles is a real captain, I decided to give him control of a boat. I'm going to give Captain Fiddles a 9 out of 10 because there isn't that much wrong with him. 